I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin, the first AI software engineer. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple different API providers. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to After that, it builds a whole project. After that, it builds a whole project. What? Using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. Oh, I just logged into the same account. Shut up! It's a really hard problem. 2024. Okay, so we're looking at tech stacks, right? So, well, what is the tech stack for 2024? What does it look like? Well, it depends on what that is, right? And obviously the most popular one, especially here, uh, is people are looking for developers who are good with React. That's why, you know, it's I'm like a React freak because there is jobs, a lot of jobs, a lot of employers are actually looking for reactive developers. So they're looking for react, sorry, I can't spell, react developers. So honestly, stick with react, right? React JS. And oh yeah, if, you, if you're willing to take some time, learn next, right? The framework, next framework, the next framework. This is also next JS. So Next.js, so you've got uh, React, Next.js, and obviously learn, just learn what is going on now, right? So obviously tail, a wind, and obviously the more you build projects, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. So you want to just hit over here, and then once you're over here, you want to, this is like your project section, okay? So what you want to do is you want to build small projects, right? And then build up your portfolio so you want to build up your portfolio have small projects on your portfolio maybe have like a portfolio website and, and a link to it right set up a domain and obviously just start applying right apply you know reach out to the hiring manager and you know say to them you know what i do this particular set of skills this is the skills that i have and i want to show you take a look at my projects and then maybe it would take some time to take a look at some projects but you have to get in early you have to get in early right so i'm actually just gonna write here get in early or actually not by what I mean is is apply early as possible and then you maybe you have a chance to do that otherwise what you can do is obviously just work on platforms like Fiverr right or Upwork so th these are just freelance platforms so if that doesn't work out right just head over to you know this is like a side hustle type of thing so you could work on Fiverr you could work on Upwork and this is what I would suggest especially if you don't have a remote job yet right so but what you want to do is you want to build small projects you want to build up your portfolio and you want to just keep applying early and also maybe maybe even set up a YouTube channel so that you can show your set of skills and also make sure you have a LinkedIn because if you don't have a LinkedIn then you can't reach out to the hiring manager because most of them actually use LinkedIn for networking for, for networking purposes so I don't actually use that at all so what you want to do is just stay up stay with the tech trend stay with the tech trend just completely ignore AI you just ignore it you want to embrace it instead of avoiding it right the question was is ai going to replace job the answer is actually no right and the reason is i mean from the video it looked it, maybe maybe right so it's we're in a zone where it, it's kind of like a maybe the thing is it's not that ai is going to replace jobs it's the people right who use ai it's the people who use ai that will replace that person's job right that position that someone has so it's the people who use ai that replaces the position so people who use ai that replaces the position okay so so i hope that makes sense i, I don't know if i'm making sense right now but essentially ai itself is not going to walk around and you know replace the jobs that you wish to have or replace the jobs that you want to have right that you need Right, so that's not going to happen, right? Maybe in the near future, it is a there's a probability that it could. Right now, stop, stop, you know, focusing on if it's going to replace my job and should I continue coding? Should I continue with my development career? Like, should I continue with web development? Should I continue with app development? Because it's pointless. All these AI tools are replacing things. Well, in reality, it's actually not. It's the people who use the AI that actually replaces that person's position in that job. So completely, just embrace it. You want to embrace it. Maybe you want to 
use it, but I would suggest not actually relying on AI all the time because it's it, it's always iterating, it's always improving, and obviously it is a piece of technology which improves over time, and there will be errors and outliers that will need to be fixed. So at the end of the day, is stop focusing on AI. Uh, in a sense of will it replace my job no it won't it's the people who will use ai that will replace that particular position that you want to get so stop focusing on that just learn your tech stacks right get good at it master it and uh, build small projects like i said and also freelance okay so that that's the only advice i've got uh, otherwise yeah so yeah otherwise just yeah that's it follow for more or subscribe or unsubscribe okay i don't know thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next